NASA discovers another mystery on Mars. The space agency cannot explain 80% of peculiar sounds from deep inside Mars. Ollie Smith of Express UK reports, NASA confirmed that they're picking up hundreds of mysterious sounds on Mars. So the scientists are only able to explain 20% of the bizarre noises that they pick up and it's sparking a frenzy of speculation what this could be. NASA officials admit they have no idea what's making up the other 80% of these mysterious sounds that they've picked up on Mars. The space agency released several clips of the eerie audio which resembles low rumbling noises while a fifth of the sounds can be explained as being, for example, Mars quakes, NASA are struggling to find out the source of the remaining unusual noises. NASA is baffled by more than 100 other rumbling noises taking place deep inside the planet. Uh, if you hear them, I mean, I, I, for the life of me, I think it's either metallic clacking or running the, the noise of uh, a tap running. Now, the space scientists here are only able to link 21 of the sounds to the quakes, with the remainder of odd high-frequency bursts being a mystery. NASA released the audio of 21 Mars quakes, recorded with its super-sensitive listening device, which landed there last year. The InSight lander arrived on the surface of Mars last year, November 2018, and it recorded, it recorded its first set of seismic rumblings in April. The Mars quakes were picked up by NASA's Seismic Experiment for Interior Structure, SIES for short, S-I-E-S. That was in May and July. And NASA claims that the quakes erupted on the red planet were recorded as a magnitude 3.7 and magnitude 3.3. And they said that Mars quakes are the equivalent of earthquakes caused by movements in the planet's interior possibly from volcanic hotspots. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory said, both suggest that the Martian crust is like a mixture of Earth's crust and the Moon's crust. Mars, with its cratered surface, is slightly more moon-like, they said, with seismic waves ringing it for a minute or so, whereas the quakes on Earth come and go in just a few seconds. NASA is trying to determine which of the planet's volcanoes are still active. Scientists hope that the seismic waves will reveal the deep inner structure of Mars for the first time. What's going on down there? Electrical engineer Cosandinos Halalambus of Imperial College London, who helped to provide the audio recording, said, It's been exciting, especially in the beginning, hearing the first vibrations from the lander. He says, you're imagining what's really happening on Mars as InSight sits on the open landscape. Now, scientists had to speed up and process the earthquake recordings so that they could be heard by the human ear. This comes as NASA's chief scientist, Jim Green, claimed over the weekend that humans are not ready to find out about life outside of the Earth. He said, it will be revolutionary, it will start a whole new line of thinking. I don't think we're prepared for the results, we're not. I've been worried about that because I think we're close to finding it and making some announcements, end quote. Well, what is he trying to say here? Obviously, that we're talking to him about the sounds on Mars and if he knew what they could be. And he turns around and says that... Uh, we're not ready to find uh, out if there are other beings besides humans in our solar system. It will be revolutionary. Does that mean that he thinks the noises on the surface of Mars or inside of Mars are from ETs? I have no idea. But let's listen to the uh, track from NASA.
So um, you can see the video here as well if you'd like, but uh, the thing is that uh, most of the clanking is from the arm moving from the uh, seismic uh, machinery that was recording, and the rest basically is from the wind. So what we're hearing here is sounds that they claim that they know uh, what the causes are. So it's the clanking of the apparatus, the lander apparatus, recording and also the wind if that's so is it so windy on mars is it that windy uh what kind of an atmosphere how much how much how strong are the winds that's another question anyway i'll leave a link below for you for this but uh we're going to make another video concerning the fact that landers going to mars may not be a very good idea because of what could be found there and what could be brought back to earth as far as viruses or life forms that could be a danger for humanity and for life on earth anyway i'll leave links below for you for this If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.